Hey everybody, I'm Alabama Boss, and this is Craft Brew Review. Mexican Import Edition. And he calls. So we're doing this because I have never had a Corona, not a drop. I've always steered clear of the Corona. It's like, dig around the cooler, move 40 of these to find one natural light. That's who you're talking to. But these are all authentic Mexican imports made in Mexico. This Corona really is not part of this group. I don't, I don't classify Corona as being in this category right here. I'm told all of these are good beers. These are like some of the top Mexican beers. But if I'm guessing, just looking at them, I'm probably gonna like this beer the best just because I can see the color and I like that color. This thing right here is wrapped in some cheap ass aluminum foil, like an old champagne bottle. And this big giant stove pipe right here, it just reminds me of a banana or a lemon, so I don't even want it. This one kind of looks like it'd kick your ass, so yeah, I'm good with that, Ducati. And to start us off, I will pop my Corona cherry. Look, I've been told Coronas are great. I don't give a shit what people say are great. I know what I think is great, but uh, yeah. I'll try anything, if pressured and paid to do it. I also have some lime and salt here because I've been told that that's what people do. They put lime and salt on their Corona. And that's what they do in the commercials. You know, those real nice commercials where people are just sitting there with not shit to do but drink beer and look at the ocean. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad, it's really light. Like real, real light. Now it's time for the old lime. Cause I'm gonna try that. Well, that lime's a little big, but who gives a shit? We'll get it in there. That's what she said. Also been told to do this. Let it get to the bottom. Turn it back over, son of a bitch. She's a spewer. I would drink this on the beach. It, it does, it does kind of remind me of a hot beach, suntan lotion smell, beer. Do you regret you've gone 37 years without trying it now? No, I do not regret skipping this for 30. I've not missed a, a damn thing. And I don't see me going out buying this. Maybe if I go to the beach, I don't know. But then you gotta get some limes and bring a knife and all that. I just wanna bust it open, drink it, pour it down a funnel, whatever. Swim that pool noodle. Get it in me fast. Um, have you ever had a Bud Light Lime? You know, a lot of the Bud Light Lime. Oh, no. Oh, I refuse. Takati, the original. So this is like Bud Heavy in America. An authentic, full flavored lager. Takati is a bold taste of Mexico. Born bold. Is Takati a bird? It's a place in Mexico. Why is this bird on here? It's like a game rooster. It's not bad. Definitely got a little more flavor than the than the old Corona. Oh, I mean, it's, it's drinkable. It's good. I would drink it. It ain't a great beer. It's a good beer. All right, so the salt in the rim. This is a thing, I guess like a margarita, I don't know. To give it that beach effect, but I hate margaritas. I hate tequila. If I ever get sand on the top of my beer can, I rinse it off. Now I learned that people do this on purpose. So, being the person that I am, I'm gonna try that. I have no idea how much you're supposed to use. So, Takati with salt on the rim. It's crunchy, it's the only difference. I don't know. Maybe. It's not bad. I could see me getting like some chips and salsa and doing this. Okay, I'm not gonna knock the salt on the on the beer. Not bad. Gives it a little something. So it's not too bad. Hmm. So now we're moving on to Modelo. Negro. Is that right? Modelo Negra. Man, what is the deal here? Why? If I had to get into every beer like this, I'd lose my fucking mind. Really, is this, am I doing this wrong? Fucking mess over here. 
out of the gate, I hate this beer. Who in the f***ing packaging said, you know what we need to do? We need to wrap it in some sticky ass aluminum foil. You can't get drunk on it because it takes you 30 minutes to open one bottle. <laughs> Okay, this here is Modelo. Damn, I think I like this one the best so far. It sucks they had to package it that way. It's like that for a reason. What? The bottle must be held up to foil during opening to avoid the content being driven out by the carbon dioxide gassing out of liquid and developing high pressure. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit. Really? It says that. Some janky ass scientists writing stuff up down there. The Modelo is my favorite so far. It doesn't have any kind of aftertaste at all. It's a good beer. I like it. Victoria. Victoria. Whew. Well, this one has got a. This one has like a lime smell already. I like it beer. Mexico, you do not disappoint. Okay, I read about the Mexican imports online in an article that was telling about different beers and how domestic beer sales were flat or down and Mexican import sales were up. They're outperforming the domestic Coors Bud brand beers, our gas station beers getting beat by the Mexican imports. And I'll be honest, I can see why. These taste good. And you can buy these now at just about every gas station. Maybe that's why Trump wants to build the wall. I don't know. All right, next up we got the old stove pot, Pacifico. Whew, 24 ounce. It has that same citrus smell to me. We'll try it. Hard for me to tell the difference in these beer. These three right here. The Takati is a little bolder, but this is a good beer too. Ooh. Not saying I wouldn't buy the Takati. It's just, a, I, would, I would try the light. So I'll give it the old salt treatment. I just think that this beer is good enough that don't need salt. It's not a steak, it's not french fries, it's a beer. So as far as the taste of this beer, there's a lot of German influence on Mexican beer. Because in the 1800s, there was a lot of brewers that were German that settled there, and Germans influenced the taste of these beer. All right, let's move on. What the f's the name of this one? So? This looks like a super light beer. According to their website, this is the original Mexican beer. This is the OG. So, let's try it. Oh, it's got some cool bubbles. Look at this shit. Another winner. Damn. I needed to have some I didn't like and I have not found that yet. Oh, I, there's no way I can pick which one I like. No aftertaste with any of these beer. A lot of beer has some kind of aftertaste, especially the craft beer. No aftertaste with none of these. I gotta try to narrow it down. I don't, this one right here loses points because of this stupid fall. I hate that. It's hard as f to open. It would be between these two, probably. It would just depend on what I was into that day. If I wanted to have a little bit more flavor, I would go with the Victoria. If I just wanted to knock the sh out of them and drink 24, I would go with the Soul. I'm gonna have to call this right here a draw for first place. Pacifico, Modelo, Takati and Corona. Look, I'll be honest with you, I came into this thinking, nope, hell no, no. I won't like it. Uh, I am, I am stunned, really. Well, there you have it for Craft Brew Review. I am uh, pleasantly surprised that I have found some new beer to put in my library. Do you have a beach beer or a Mexican import beer that you like? Let me know in the comments below. For Rated Red, I'm Alabama Boss. Y'all have a good one. Still good.